The idea is simple. We want a reliable way to register and access all objects inside our app. For this we need use service locator pattern. Get it is the most used package to implement the service locator pattern in Flutter. Get it allows us to register all objects and their dependencies at startup and access all registered objects from a single source. Let's look at a simple example. For example, this API class contains the code necessary to communicate with the joke API used in the app. The network calls made to the joke API is handled by the client class from the HTTP package. If you pay attention, the API class is dependent on the client class, and the most basic way to inject this dependency would be to pass it through the constructor. This way when you need the API class somewhere else in your codebase, you would have to pass in the client class. Now in a situation where we also use dependency injection where the API class is needed, to call home screen somewhere in the codebase we would pass in the API class it depends on, and also pass in the client class that the API class depends on. I'm sure we can see how things can easily get out of hand when we try to access classes with multiple dependencies across multiple places. This is where Getit comes in. With Getit we simply register our Dart objects and the classes they depend on, which can then be easily accessed from anywhere. The first thing we have to do is create a file in the lib folder called injection container. Now here, first we need to import the Getit package. Then we need to find an instance of Getit using getit.instance. We must define the instance globally so that we can access this instance in all files and anywhere. This instance is going to hold all the dependencies we need. Next step is to create a method named initialize dependencies which would be called before run app. It will be inside this function where all the classes and contracts will be registered, and subsequently also injected using the singleton instance of getit stored inside sl. Using getit, classes can be registered in two ways, factory and singleton. With factory registration, when you request an instance of the class from getit, you'll get a new instance every time. Good for registering view models that need to run the same logic on start or that has to be new when the view is open. With Singleton, yet it keeps a single instance of your registered type for the rest of the app's lifetime and will always return you that instance when requested. We're going to register everything as a singleton, which means that only one instance of a class will be created for the app's lifetime. The first class that we can register is the News API service class. The registration process is very straightforward. To register, we must use the register singleton method. Now here we have to pass the class name as tParameter. Then we just instantiate the class as usual and pass an SL into every constructor parameter like this. Because News API service accepts DO in the constructor and depends on DO, we must register DO before News API service in the same way. Then here, pass SL to News API service. The next step is to register the article's repository. Notice that they depend on the contract and not on the concrete implementation. However, we cannot instantiate a contract which is an abstract class. Instead, we have to instantiate the implementation of the repository. Then we need to register the use cases. So, we register the get article use case. And finally we have to register the blocks. Presentation logic holders such as block shouldn't be registered as singleton. Because your block will return the new instance when the state was changed. For now we are done here. In the next video, we will go to the presentation layer and display the news. So stay with me, and make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.